So um, one day while we were uh, building, uh, working on the underground rabbit tree, uh, uh, Daniel heard some noise and uh, we went over by where some of our, our uh, tools and things were and, and there were four um, baby uh, kangaroo pups, little, ba little babies, and their eyes were just barely open and, and they were out in the middle of the day and they all of them were just um, squawking and squeaking and and making this um, noise and but they were all outside the den and they were um, making a lot of noise and we thought wow that's not normal um, we have found a lot of snakes um, in our area this this spring and summer and so we were thinking that it's possible that during the night a snake got into the den or um, days before I uh, got the mother and she just didn't return and the babies were hungry and they uh, wandered out of the den and didn't know what to do. So um, we picked them up and brought them inside and I did some research on what to feed them and uh, how to take care of them. Kangaroo baby rats are were, are so cute. They they have these huge huge back legs that they have to like grow into like an adolescent child. Let's see how cute they are. They're all feet. It's all feet. It's all feet. <laughs> yeah. It's been 24 hours. Uh, they're moving around more. And they're eating the hay and the bird seed. And I just gave them each a little drink of um, almond milk. So I started feeding them, keeping a close eye on them. Um, didn't handle them. I, I tried not to handle them. I didn't want them to become too familiar with people. So I just fed them and um, took care of them for probably more than a month. Uh, every night they'd come out because they're nocturnal and at night they'd, they'd come out and you could hear them um, scurrying about the aquarium and digging and, and eating seeds and chewing all night long and it was kind of fun. Um, once we released them, it was kind of, kind of missed them. I still miss them. So they have quite the little burrow system and little trails out here. So tonight, tonight we're going to turn them loose. And I, I dug them a little hole down here. So maybe get them started. Some place to make them feel comfortable, and they'll have their hay and everything here that makes them smell like home. In the wild, they live um, by themselves, so they don't usually live together. So 
So I'm just trying to wake them up a little bit before I just kind of dump them out. I don't want to squish anybody. I could probably actually jump out of here. Which I really don't. I guess it doesn't really matter. Here's okay. one there. Is that uh, Hoppy? That's one of them. Is that, Go on in there. Is that Jumpy? No, no, no. Is that Jumpy or Hoppy? Go down in there. There I go. One in the hole. Like I said, tonight they will. A hole in one. Two. Oops. Oops. Get back in there. Oh, there he goes. Poppy, skippy, jumpy, and bouncy. Yeah. Get back in there. Okay. Okay. So all four are in there. And I'm going to give them their dirt so they have a smell that they recognize. Oh, one went back in there. Okay. All right. So there's one in the bush there. And I think there's two in the hole. And then the fourth one went, went down in the bushes down there. So they have a really good sense of smell. So been fun but they get to go be wild little kangaroo rats now I didn't handle them at all other than the first couple days just so that they're not overly dependent upon people so it was fun bye little guys have fun digging so we said goodbye to our little guys we turned them loose and I found an area where they had dumped some concrete and there was a nice little um, a dugout underneath it made them like a start of a burrow just for that first night and we put it we let them go about dusk and let them hop around and let them dig their own little burrows and put down bird seed and but they had plenty of food plenty of food and um, hopefully they made it uh, their lifespan's kind of short two to two to five years if they don't get eaten by a snake or a, a hawk or a well not a hawk but owl night animals and um, they're at the bottom of the food chain but they're so cute what a privilege to get to spend uh, four weeks or so with these little guys and to watch them at night and to see them hopping around they're they're great big eyes and they're great big back feet they're super cute sometimes at night uh, when we're outside uh, walking around with our flashlights uh, we'll see them hopping around and and uh, it seems like there's one that really likes to hang out around the barbecue area. Maybe there's bugs or something that are attracted to the smell of the barbecue. But we'll, we'll go out at night and, and see them hopping around. And, and uh, in the meantime, they'll kind of like almost come right up to your feet. And then you can't really catch them, but they come right up to you and then they hop around. They're not afraid at all. Even the ones that we didn't feed, they're, they're not afraid. The animals out here are remarkably friendly and um, feeding uh, birds at my feet and rabbits at my feet and lizards and it's, it's kind of fun. It's a great place to live in the desert here.
Well, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed our little uh, kangaroo pups as much as we did. And I just wanted to share that with everybody so they could see how cute they are. And they're not a nuisance. They're, they're super, super cute.